Can we talk about vaping for a minute? I know you've probably heard the lectures before, but this isn't that. This is just what's actually going on in your brain when you are vaping, especially if you're somebody who does it regularly. A lot of people think that vapes are harmless, just flavored air or water vapor, but most vapes contain nicotine and a lot of it. In fact, one nicotine pod can have as much nicotine as a whole pack of cigarettes. So that's a lot, and why does that matter? It matters because nicotine is addictive, and not just in a bad habit kind of way. It messes with your brain's reward system, that part of the brain that lights up when you do something that feels good to you, like if you're hanging out with your friends, playing a sport, or achieving some type of goal. When you vape, that reward system starts to light up for something it doesn't need, which is the nicotine. And here's the catch. Your brain is still developing. It's learning what to count on, what to go to when you're stressed or overwhelmed. And when you introduce nicotine into that process, your brain starts to say, this is what helps me feel better. This is what I need. And that's how the cycle starts. At first, it might just be trying it, you know, maybe with friends or maybe vaping once or twice. And then it becomes something that you're doing socially and maybe every day or anytime you're stressed or can't focus or just don't feel like yourself. It's unlike a cigarette in the sense that, you know, you don't throw it away when you're done. A vape is open-ended and, you know, it's easy to hit it dozens or even hundreds of times without even noticing you're doing it. And eventually you might feel irritable or anxious when you aren't able to vape or if you don't have it. Uh, or if you can't concentrate in class maybe without your vape and that you have to hit it more often to get the same effect that you were getting before. And that's not just habit, that's dependence. And if you've ever tried to quit and just couldn't, that's a sign of something we call substance use disorder, which is something that a lot of people struggle with, especially teens. Uh, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, but nicotine is literally built to hook your brain. When you're a teenager, your brain is still wiring up how to manage emotions and how to stay focused, how to feel motivated. It's building a foundation. When you introduce nicotine, and that kind of rewires the brain and says, use this chemical to feel okay, which is why it's so much easier to get addicted now at this stage in your life than it would be maybe for somebody who's older and why quitting can feel so hard too, but also why it's so important. So if any of this stuff is sounding familiar to you, if you felt those cravings or that panic when you don't have your vape with you, you are absolutely not alone and you absolutely can quit and take your brain back. You know, it might take time and uh, it might take help, but it's possible and it is certainly worth it.